it can be so easy when you are into a big project like I have been with this discus uh, tank here recently that you can forget about a beautiful little tank like this Waterbox uh, Peninsula Mini 15 Nano that I have uh, completely neglected. Uh, not in the sense that I've neglected it with maintenance and things like that or all the things that are necessary to keep this thing alive, but I really haven't talked about it much uh, over the last couple of months. So today we're going to do that a little bit. We're going to get you caught up on what's going on with this tank, get your ideas on what we think the future of this tank should be. Hang in there with me and we'll be right back. So as I said in the intro, uh, this Waterbox uh, Peninsula Mini 15 Nano is uh, a tank that I put together, oh, I would say probably about six months ago, and I really haven't talked about it much since uh, I did that, and uh, today I wanted to kind of give you an update on what was going on with this tank. I've been so busy with other projects, uh, mainly the uh, discus tank project that uh, has sort of dominated my time over the last uh, several weeks and uh, I really wanted to kind of dive into this tank a little bit here because it is a beautiful little tank and it's doing so well for as much as I feel I have neglected it uh, not in the sense like I said of uh, taking care of it doing proper water changes and things like that but as you can see, uh, some of the crypts, uh, the stems are getting a little long. Some of those need to be trimmed back. Uh, also, you can see that uh, uh, some of the uh, substrate has, uh, you know, uh, gotten some bumps and things into it that are not leveled out. Now, I'm into perfection. Some people aren't and uh, that may not be a big deal to you but it is to me it just it just basically tells me that i have uh, not paid attention to this tank as much as i should uh, in the last uh, several months so uh, to get a little bit of background on this tank here like i said it's about six months old it's uh, a tank that is uh, done with uh, fluval stratum and there's about three and a half inches of fluval stratum on the bottom of this. It is a peninsula, peninsula I can't talk today, a peninsula style tank so uh, it does have a view uh, on three sides and uh, the plants that are in here are pretty much uh, a lot of crypts. Uh, there are some uh, java ferns, there are some uh, swords in the back, and there is also in the dark areas, it is pretty early in the morning and you can't really see these areas back there, but around the wood in the dark areas there are several pieces of Anubius uh, Nana and Anubius Petite Nana that are uh, sort of taken root around this piece of wood in the center and it, and it is quite beautiful um, there really isn't a lot that needs to be done to this I do see like I said some uh, trimming that needs to be done on some of the plants to uh, sort of make them a little bit more uniform with the overall uh, look of the tank uh, I do like the way things have grown out and uh, how they look right now. Uh, some of these plants are just absolutely beautiful. If you look at the two plants on the end here, uh, they have just taken off amazingly. Uh, I love the maple stone in this tank. It's beautiful rock. It's uh, one of those rocks that uh, tends to uh, just really pop against a dark substrate like the fluval stratum. Now, the stock that's in this tank is uh, 
of course, uh, some Julie Corys. I think there's four or five of those in here. There are um, four or five uh, blue neon Rasporas and another Raspora, which it slips my mind. Uh, if I can think of it, I will put it in the description area of what that Raspora is. And uh, also, uh, we have a couple of auto sinkless in here, a small bristle nose pleco, and the main fish in this tank, which is cruising across the front right now, is this Epistogramma Hongsloy, which is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful fish that I really, really enjoy. And as far as, uh, you know, the stock in this tank, I don't want to make any changes there. It's done really well, but I think that it needs a little bit more, um, just, just some love and, uh, love and care that, uh, possibly some trimming of plants and maybe even adding a few more plants here and there. And I think that that back area needs to be blacked out. Uh, I like the Peninsula tank in the sense that it does have uh, the uh, three sides to it. But in this particular case, I think just two sides by the way it's sitting in a corner like this I think to black out that back area would really be a good idea. What I would really like is to get your comments on this and what you think I should do with it and what the future of this tank should be and leave your comments down below and I will take those into consideration. Tell me what you think honestly about this tank. If you like the look of it the way it is in its current state or if it's something you think that uh, needs some changes to sort of freshen it up and make it uh, a little bit more uh, exciting. Um, I, I like it the way it is. I think other than trimming it up, like I said, and uh, maybe evening out the substrate a little bit and uh, adding some plants, maybe some taller plants in the back. Uh, after I blacken out the area back there, I think this is going to continue to be a beautiful tank. It's in perfect shape, no algae issues, nothing. A perfect balance of stock, cleaner fish, cleaner crew, uh, centerpiece fish, and uh, of course it is a community tank. So leave your comments down below, hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about this tank a little bit more in the future as I get your comments as they come in and get an idea of what we should be doing with this tank in the future. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of this video and we'll see you on the next one. So what I think I'll do is take a few minutes and trim some of these plants up and you can tell me before we end this video what you think and give me some ideas if you think I should do something else. As I said, I just basically trimmed up some of the crypts a little bit and uh, moved some things around, evened out the substrate a little bit. And I thought I'd do that before I ended the video so that you can give me some ideas on uh, what you think um, is something else that I might need to do that I'm maybe forgetting here. Anyways, I think it looks great. Thank you again and uh, I really will see you on the next one.